Hey guys, and welcome to part 15. We're going to start by making digits for the waves and for the amount of bullets that you have. So let's see if we can get this done with the score. I know last time it was a lot harder to get it done with the score, um, but let's just see if we can. Here I'm just gonna go if, around this here, the clone ID, is equal to score uh, then do all the stuff I'm gonna make this show go right here and then I'm going to uh, let's see here I'll add another one flag clicked and I will say um, we will do this forever set the I to one go to Let's see what two two zero is like. Um, and this will we'll start with this for waves. We'll do this for waves. Uh, so waves, and we'll say okay. We'll work on that later, and then switch this to waves wave. Uh, current wave to wave or actual wave. And then uh, wait till the current wave is equal to uh, wave. There we go. And now we just actually, I'm going to change this to wave. And I'll go down here. And I will say if the clone ID is equal to wave. Uh, then we're not going to have this go to the front layer. Uh, we will just get rid of that. Uh, yeah, I don't know exactly where I want it, but we're going to say set the current score to cash. No, we want the current wave to wave, not current wave, wave, and then if not, whoa, the current wave is equal to wave, uh, then wait zero, uh, point oh, 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 one seconds and then delete this clone. I think that's what we want. And I'll say also, or, wait until that happens, or the game ends. So actually, this is going to be pretty hard. I don't actually think I can do that. So instead what I'm going to have is I'm going to have a, uh, when I receive end game, then if the clone ID is equal to wave, then delete this clone. We will now clean up the blocks. Unused local variable. Yeah, I'm not gonna get rid of that just yet. Okay. So, now I think we have the wave. Let's just see what happens here. I will get rid of this. I'll uncheck wave. Got 100 bolts. Okay, so we have seven. It's wave one. So it sets that to one. Which I like. Sets it up to two. The bolt is slightly in the way, but oh. This is why those green guys are going to be pretty harmful. When there's packets up there, yeah. Yeah, and that seems to be working. Uh, I'm kind of scared that once it gets to double digits, it's just going to move over. And we don't want that. We want the original one to move back so let's just see okay so after 10 waves Yep, it goes over to the side, so we're going to need to fix that. Here we have it going to 220, but we're actually going to do something a little bit different. We're going to go 220 minus a value. This value is going to be the length of wave. We'll duplicate this, and we'll say the length of wave. So if the length of wave, uh, the length of wave is 1, then it's going to subtract nothing. So we're actually going to 
subtract 1 from this value. So, there we go. But then, if it's equal to 2, then this is going to be 1. And if this is 1, we do not want it to subtract 1. We want it to subtract how much? 24. So we're going to times this by 24. Now we're going to add this in, and let's see what happens. I'm also going to move this variable down so we can see it better. Wave 1. wave 10 and look at that it seems to work very well all right now we could just go on to trying to get to wave 100 to see if it works for three digits but I think I'm okay wave 11 works at least so it seems to be working pretty well now we can do the same for the bullets okay so now we're just going to go to the score and make uh, it for the bullets so for the bullets we're just going to grab a uh, another one flag clicked and set the eye to one. Go to the X of that, uh, and the Y will be. We will make it 100 and just see what that's like. We will make the score digits bullets, and then change this to bullets, and then we're going to make a variable called current bullets for the sprite only and now we're going to set the current bullets to bullets right there and then set the current bullets to bullet or not to current bullets but to bullets okay so now we are going to uh, go down here and say when or if the clone ID is equal to wave so bullets then we're going to set the current wave no set the current bullets to current bullets set the current bullets if the equal uh, current bullets is equal to bullets then delete itself and then we're gonna do this exact thing when I receive endgame actually we're gonna say uh, if the clone ID is equal to wave or the clone ID is equal to bullets. Then it will delete itself. And let's just see how that works. It should be okay. Delete both of these. Play. Okay, so let's see what the problem is here. It needs to. Uh, create clone of myself when I start a clone. It is showing. Uh, it should be. So if we go here. Okay, so the length of bullets that needs to be. Okay, that seems to be working, but it is in front of all of this, which is not what we want. So we will make this go to the very front by going. Uh, go to front layer and then we're gonna make the uh, the buttons here go to the front layer the very front layer now when we do the flag there we go and when we press play now we have these two bullets 99 and they're just deleting themselves but I do see that it is showing the right amount of bullets so let's just fix the problem here oh okay uh, I see the problem here it says set the current bullets to current bullets why that's doing that I have no idea we need to set that to bullets all right remember to double click the five because for some reason it isn't working play 100 bullets we click 99 okay there we go now let's just see if that possibly fixed the problem okay so that's just re putting them on top so that's the same problem that we were having before so let's go here and when the flag is clicked set 
um, the bullets to 100. So it is doing that somewhere else, but I think that's what fixed uh, the last time that happened to us. So 100, and this seems to be working. But then when we uh, click the flag again and play, yep, it's still working. So that seems to be pretty good. That is our number of bullets. And it does not tell us that that's our number of bullets. So we might want to put something out there, like an icon or like just telling us that it's bullets. Um, but so far, this is looking pretty good. Honestly, we've got a number of bullets that is recorded. It tells us the wave. Uh, we've got our score over here. And little packs of bullets now come onto the screen every so often. Oh no. Aha! Taken out. And then when this comes over, it comes over our bullets and everything else. I think that's pretty good. Uh, I think that's good. We want that to happen for the waves, but for the number of bullets, we might want to put it on this side actually. Uh, but we're not going to do that for this video. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you learned a lot. Hope your games are looking great. And I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thank you for watching that video. Check out the next one right here on the end screen. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my main account, which is right here on the end screen. Also, once you subscribe, make sure that you click the notification bell so you get notified when I make the next part so you don't have to waste any time into getting to make your best game. I will see you next time.